Hey guys, so I'm finally back and I have a hair tutorial for you guys today and it's on a style that I've really been loving and it's called a cornrow braid out. So if you're interested in this style, stay tuned. So I'm starting off with old hair that's been in a puff for forever as you can tell and I'm taking some water to it just to soften it up a little bit and I'm using Ori Essentials Twisting Butter. That's just going to go ahead and soften my hair and prime it just to make it a little bit more moisturized because my hair is dry as heck as you can tell and here I'm just establishing my part and I've really been feeling the middle part so that's what I'm going to do today. Now I'm just sectioning off from my cornrows which isn't going to be perfect as you can see and here I'm just going to go ahead and spray a tad bit more water. You don't want to drench it in water. So I'm just dampening it and I'm going to go ahead with my twisting butter again as well. You want to make sure that each section is well detangled so I just go in with a wide tooth comb and then I follow it with a Denman brush. Alright now let's start braiding. I'm going to tell you right now and straight up I'm not the best when it comes to cornrowing my own hair but let me explain it as best as I could. So the best way that I can explain it is to braid and as you braid go under the middle strand and grab hair and add it onto the piece that you're crossing under each time. So you're just going to go ahead and alternate left and right. I hope that makes sense and I'm sorry if it doesn't but just watch the tutorial and you should catch on. So I like to brush midway to make sure that my hair is nice and smooth and detangled as I keep braiding and after that I just keep braiding all the way till I reach the end. When I get to the very ends I just twirl my finger around to make a curl and that's going to secure it in place. From there on I just repeat the process throughout my hair until I'm all braided up. And when I'm done braiding, this is how it looks. And the back was really challenging, but I got through it. And as you keep on braiding, you'll get better. When it's time for bed, I just take a satin bonnet to protect my hair and I just cover it up and I go to bed. It should be completely dry the next morning, but this is two days later for me. And I'm ready to take the braids out, so let's see the results. Now I'm just applying a little bit of a hoba oil to my hands, and I just carefully begin unbraiding. I always find that with braid out, since there's a lot of texture going on, um, frizz is just a part of the result. So you want to kind of keep frizz at bay by carefully unbraiding the braids. You still get the definition from the braid out, but you get a lot more volume than you would with a twist out. And I love that the bigger the better, plus braid outs always result in the most stretch. So I just keep unbraiding without doing any extra separating unless there's a huge chunk of hair that's obviously not blending in. And when I'm done in braiding, I just touch up the baby hairs, of course, with a little bit of gel, smooth them down, make them look nice and presentable. Mm -hmm. 
Then, of course, never skip this step. I pick my roots, and this is also going to help conceal any obvious parts made in the hair whenever you cornrow it. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry it's been so long, but please forgive me. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other tutorials on styles that you may like. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope everybody's doing well and having an awesome spring. Peace and love.